He's back! Seriously, I'm back in Barbados and I had a call from an old colleague, when I may call him old, boom boom, uh, about his house that he's decided that he now wants to market. Sadly, um, the house currently, I have to say currently, is 1.3 million US dollars. It's incredible. I'll tell you more about it when we get inside because I never know with the wind. I still haven't figured out where the microphone is, if I'm brutally honest, so you could might not be hearing a word I'm saying. Anyway, I shall turn and show you proximity to beach. Favourite part of the coastline, the south coast. Good neighbourhood as well. Beach is at the end of that road. If you can hear it over the wind, probably not. Let's uh, head inside to Mango. It's sitting on a little shy of half an acre. Can't quite remember the exact size. So, saying words like little shy, it's real estate terms for clueless. Um, three story, it's two here. Well, it's three. It's, it's, I was going to say basement, but it's not a basement, it's ground floor. Um, fantastic property. Built less than seven years ago in the garden. Keep me out of the way of me. And we're going to go in the main entrance. This is the electric double garage here, which I'll show you later. It's around two to two and a half thousand square foot of semi-finished usable space. I have often people asking me, you know, what houses could be used as guest houses and as such like. Well, this is six bed, if I remember rightly, six bed, five, five of them are en suite, one of them works as a, you know, a like guest WC, if you like, there's a beach again, close by, lovely garden to the front, no real waste of space here, all the space is used, fantastic house, over 10,000 square foot of house, really well finished. felt they were going to retire here, but for reasons I'm not discussing now, probably because I don't know, most of you are thinking, yeah, you might be right, there's a master bedroom up there, this mezzanine type floor, open plan floor, it's just gorgeous, this house stays very cool, walking through to the kitchen area, little dining area here, really lovely kitchen, I, I really hope that shows up on the video. I don't think anything can show up quite as well on the video as, as it should do. Let me just look this way as well. Delighted to say, not many mirrors in this house because although they finished it, they were working so hard at the things that they do, they haven't filled the house, for want of a better word. So, but the pool is gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. Lovely shady area here. It's such a nice home. It really is. Some of you may think, well, you're being overlooked. Well, you weren't because the chap behind used to have these two huge trees, which was a wonderful natural shield, you know, from looking into each other's uh, homes. And um, the owner here told me, well, one day he decided to chop it down which caught them all a little bit unawares. But I think uh, natural vegetation, natural vegetation, really Alex, natural vegetation. Oh boy, I do need that holiday. Going on holiday tomorrow, everybody. I'll take a video of Miami. <laughs> a koi keeper, some beautiful fish. Good God, he's big. I thought he was gonna come out and get me. You're fantastic, aren't you? Anyway, I digress. There's one over here, it just always seems to want to do sleep. Ah, no, I woke him up. Okay, let's push on. There, the bedroom downstairs, open straight out onto the stunning pool. Let me back up as if I was walking through. Can't find the key for this room. Um, a bit frustrating. 
but not the end of the world. So one would leave here. Yeah. They've got all these little extra windows that allow a cross breeze. I mean, very clever. Anyone, the person who designed this house understands Barbados, understands heat. This is lovely. Why am I whispering? I don't know. Why am I whispering? Right. Really lovely finishes. Looks gorgeous. Looks really, really gorgeous. And the whole ground floor section as well. Could be, it could be another apartment. It could probably be four bedrooms. It's remarkable. The amount of space is remarkable. I'm just going to flash this way. Don't want to dwell on his birds. Don't want to wake him up. Looking down the side there. It's amazing how real estate agents state the obvious. This is a tree. This is a kitchen. I was once on a viewing with a friend of mine. For the first time in my life I was lost for... God, that's nice, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? And for once in my life I was lost for words. And we were comparing... We were comparing a lower floor apartment and an upper floor apartment. And he came up with this statement. He said, yes, it's identical to the lower floor apartment, only of course the, the view is more elevated. It's amazing how people nodded in agreement. Yes, yes. And I stood there thinking, really? Really? That's something as ridiculous as I would say. But look at that pool. I mean, saltwater pool. You could change that if it didn't suit, but it's always healthier to have a saltwater pool. In many ways, easier to clean. More natural cleaning process. And back in the kitchen. I would have walked through the doors over here to the left, but they're not open, so I can't. But this feeling of space, just stub my toe. I cannot begin to tell you how that hurt. Right, let's begin on the, the wing of bedrooms. So bedroom number ooh, six, I suppose. This is the one bedroom that isn't our suite. Um, but the bathroom is literally next door. Because the house isn't filled, I'm delighted to say there are less mirrors. So my battle with the mirrors, I win today, I bet I don't. Um, okay, showing you the bathrooms, they're really very well tiled, travertine floors, porcelain, travertine. It's just, it's really well finished. Ha <laughs> ha, past the mirror, you didn't get me. Um, the bedroom, on the ground floor. This is the one that I said earlier, you can walk straight out to the pool. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Again, en suite, I say again, not again at all, I haven't seen an en suite yet. Walk in closet, but it's a walk through really, which makes a lot more sense. Um, no mirror again. <laughs> um, camera focusing in and out. Okay, just give you an idea of the Finishes, wonderful wood floors. Don't know if I showed you that. No, power degrees of me. Um, your doors going out to the pool. Good size room, air conditioning, and fan. I always take on board people's complaints. And the usual one is I never show enough, but it's quite hard with the video because you're looking at where where you're going. I'm going to show you the mess floor. It's gone a bit blue. The house is not a bit blue. And uh, it's, very, it's very warm, very bright, but very warm. Oh, isn't that lovely? Look at that. That's looking at that. You can see me calling for my Sunday breakfast while listening to a bit of old, old blue eyes playing. I just nearly dropped the camera in the koi pond. Brilliant. Right, see if I can walk up the stairs this time without falling up them, which I did a moment ago. That really hurt. It's wonderful full length. Well, more than full length. No, oh, it's great. Every. Oh, it's really. Gonna, just looking at this before we turn again. There's your meds floor again. We've come through there. Come up the stairs. Oh, I shouldn't turn too quick. I get myself dizzy while looking at the screen. So. And then. We have the bedroom in here, which is the mirror, 
of the bedroom downstairs. But the one downstairs, you might remember, was not our suite. I'm walking the angle so you get an idea of the size. There's the walk-in section there. And again, all the bathrooms finished in much the same way. So much potential for this house. For a family home, it's just superb. Being on the south coast, you always have a light breeze. And look, look how close the beach is. Not really a beach one swims on, but just three, four hundred yards to the right of where we're looking there. That's a very long beach, actually. Long beach. I stopped talking then, much to the relief of all of you. Pickled ceilings, fan, and this one. Plumbed for air conditioning, no air conditioning on that side. Those are the doors out to the terrace up here, which can also lead you to the master bedroom over there. And the koi pond below, and the kitchen window that you're looking at there. Um, yeah, I was saying about the beach. Beach, that beach, Long Beach, not really a swimmable beach. Perfect for kite surfing, windsurfing, uh, sometimes surfing, but not often. Um, gorgeous beach. If you love a walk, it's about a mile long, something like that. Um, and stay inside for a moment but very uh, very close to swimmable be beaches like inch Marlow, a little bit further along uh, there's another one that name I forget but great location for those considering a guest house type setup there are enough individual areas here which you'll see as we go through this video that you could actually have a manager living here or an, or an owner manager living here feeling completely separate from the rest of the house. You could have either uh, multiple guest rooms or actual lock off areas, plenty of room for a second or a third kitchen um, and you're only seven or eight minutes or less to the airport but you, yet you are not under the flight path. So you'll never hear a plane. You'll probably never see a plane, um, but very close. So in terms of, in terms of, in terms of used, you know, being able to use this property as a guest house or a bed and breakfast or something of that ilk, a boutique hotel, I see no issues there at all. Close enough to the south coast, five minutes from Oystens, five minutes to the airport. You know, if you're five minutes to Oystens, you're five minutes to the beach known as Miami Beach, which is fantastic. Back, still look at the master suite. Don't really want to leave, quite honestly, but let's go downstairs. It's a long video, 13 minutes in already, so nearly double the amount of time, but then it's double the amount of house. Looking up at this, really very special. The house is listed currently, I have to say currently because obviously prices move, but the house is listed currently at 1.3 million US. Um, I will tell you this, with no shadow of a doubt, you could not build this house for anything like that now. I would suggest, having been a developer for many, many years, many, many years, um, I would suggest Probably two to two and a half million US, two million US, let's say two million US, would build this house. So it really is offering you great value. I just want to get in the pool. Honestly, I really just want to get in that pool. That's the uh, kitchen exit that we came out earlier that I was raving about. The koi ponds just under there. The uh, upstairs gallery um, and the rest I think pretty much speaks for itself. These palm trees are great when the wind hits and they give you a rattle. And that's absolutely fantastic. Mm. 
Right. Now, you've seen one, two, three, four. You've seen five bedrooms. I'm pretty sure it's five. Have I missed one? It could be five bedrooms, six bath. Well, I may have missed one. If I can navigate the stairs safely. Ha! Mirror, I see you. <laughs> Will that ever stop being amusing? Who knows? And we come down, actually I'm going to stop on, on the stairway. One could put a stair, uh, staircase, there is a staircase. One could put a door here, so these bedrooms and the lower area could all be encompassed into a guest house section. So in other words, the living room and the master bedroom and the kitchen could all be one section. This could be another section. Alternatively, you could put a door down on the lower section of the stairs and just cut off this section. So the upstairs could share that bedroom and uh, that kitchen area. Um, but there's just so much you could do. Some of this is unfinished, so bear with me. This room here, it's so funny with, with particular light how it affects the video, but this section here was going to be a TV cinema, downstairs cinema. Wow, it's very, very dark down here. It's amazing how the video does pick up the light. There's a laundry room that, well, a room that's currently used as laundry, obviously. Their office, fully air conditioned. Oh, that's nice. Very cool, very cool. I'm gonna walk in and just turn around, give you an idea of the space and the size. Air conditioning, obviously. It's a really good size. I mean, we've already now downstairs been in three rooms um, that could quite easily be bedrooms, quite easily. Um, this area here, the garage, fine, yes, great. If you want to use it as a private house, you've got this wonderful double electric garage, again, with porcelain floors, lucky cars. Um, <laughs> um, but again, you, this could be converted, it could be closed off, this could be your kitchen and living area. These windows here that are closed, because this area here is more storage and, and you know, things of this ilk, could quite easily be opened up into a lovely patio area. That could in fact be your patio area. So the scope for those that may not be looking directly for a five bedroom plus house, you know, with a pool and a nice garden and such like is amazing. But at the same time, it's a fantastic five bedroom house. I mean, here's a shower area, you know, yet as yet unfinished, obviously, really. Is it really? Brilliant. Not showing you this room. There's some private bits and pieces in some of the rooms that I'm kind of skimming past. Now we're into, a very, again, a section of the house that's unfinished. And you can see you've got a room there. All plumbing is in here. All Wi-Fi is in here. You know, the, all the electrical and plumbing is basically in. So you've got three big rooms there. And you've got another huge room here. Now that there, if you go through there, my understanding is it takes you through to the other side, um, or could take you through to the other side. Don't think you need it, but what you've got down here is another maybe two bedrooms and a kitchen, two bedrooms, bathroom, kitchen. You know, if you include this large area here, again, I'm looking up high, um, this large area here could be kitchen, could be living, could be a multiple of things. The pump room, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't suggest anyone moves that, but you obviously put some big double doors on that, and you're sorted. But uh, the, the, the room, the potential of this house, to buy it as a five bedroom house for the 1.3 million mark on the south coast in this neighborhood, which is a really nice neighborhood, is remarkable. It's absolutely remarkable. The potential of this house to increase the number of bedrooms, to use it as a guest house type scenario is also remarkable. Um, if you just wanted to rent the house out in your absence, I have no doubt the house would rent and rent and rent. And there's a few around here that do, so it's proven, not promised. 
to coin a phrase. I'm just going to walk up to it again. Like I say, a door could go there and close this whole section off. You could even turn the whole downstairs into a three bedroom apartment, put a swimming pool roughly where the garage is, and uh, just have a five bedroom house, three bedroom apartment. You know, rent that out, keep it simple. I could have a seven bedroom house. So, Villa Mango, available on www.barbados-realestate.com. 1.3 million US, currently listed at that price. But you're looking for Villa Mango, or Mango Villa, www.barbados-realestate.com. Let's finish off by looking at the pool that I wish I was in.